right so this question question appeared in 2023 december the question is this for face centered cubic face centered cubic packing of monatomic solid the number of tetrahedral and octahedral holes within the unit cell respectively are okay so the given unit cell is fcc you know very well for fcc for fcc and i just put fcc for fcc number of atom per unit cell also called rank rank of fcc unit cell is 4 rank means number of atoms per unit cell there are four atoms and you know very well it is given clearly it is monatomic right therefore uh, only four atoms are available right if you have four atoms there should be four octahedral void void or whole voids and eight tetrahedral voids all these things we discussed already okay if you have one atom there should be one octahedral void and two tetrahedral voids if you have n atoms n then there will be n octahedral void 2n tetrahedral voids exist in the unit cell so for this question they are asking number of tetrahedral and octahedral first tetrahedral tetrahedral is 8 and octahedral is 4 so answer is 8 and 4 the correct option is 1 okay so it's a very simple question but appeared in 2023 december okay take down uh, this question also appeared in 2023 june if ax by crystallizes okay it is a uh, solid made up of uh, two different species a and b it crystallizes in an fcc lattice so again the lattice is fcc with the atom a occupying every corner atoms a occupy corners and atom b occupy the centers of each face centers of each face of the unit cell then the correct stoichiometry is okay so here it's very clear a atoms occupy all the corners you know very well in a cube there are eight corners okay it is given fcc face centered cubic lattice okay so you should take cube a cube has eight corners eight corners now it is given that a atoms occupy the corners a atom occupy the corner so there are totally eight atoms okay because eight corners are there therefore there are totally eight corners eight atoms but each atom is shared by other unit cells therefore the contribution of each atom to one unit cell is just one by eight so how many a atoms are there number of a atom there are eight atoms in the car right totally eight atoms are there corner atoms but each corner atom contributes only one by eight part to the one unit cell okay therefore eight into one by eight i'll get one so in one unit cell we have only one a atom then what about b atoms b atoms occupy the centers of each face you know when a cube has six faces right a cube has six faces and each face center this is a face center this is a face center this is this side front side back side bottom each face center is occupied by b atoms so how many b atoms are there there are six face centers of so six each face center atom is actually shared by two unit cells so one by two i will get the answer as three so in one unit cell there will be one a atom a one one means you need not put then there will be three b atoms so the formula of the compound or stoichiometry of the compound is a b three the correct option is one take note so this question also appeared in 2023 june uh, the question is this the number of cation vacancies per mole when sodium chloride is doped with 10 power minus 3 mole percentage of uh, boron trichloride is so we are adding boron trichloride 
right? Uh, this much mole percentage is added, 10 power minus 3 mole percentage. Okay, so we dope BCl3 in sodium chloride. If you dope it, what uh, number of vacancies will create for one mole of the crystal? Okay, it is very simple, listen. Just for understanding purpose, uh, let us assume that uh, this is the uh, uh, the arrangement of sodium chloride in the crystal lattice. I am just giving you one layer of atom, okay, one layer. Right? Uh, uh, just observe carefully. It is very simple. <coughs> Assume that here I have a sodium ion. Okay, I will just put plus sodium ion. I will put Na plus. Na plus. Here I have another Na plus. Here I have another Na plus. Then I have Na plus here. Then I have Na plus here. Na plus here. Okay. Uh, similarly, we have uh, atoms, right? So then we have chloride ions Cl minus, Cl minus, Cl minus, I am sorry, Cl mi minus and Cl minus here, Cl minus here, Cl minus here, like that, like that we have number, okay? And here we have one Cl minus and this is actually sodium ion, right? Mm. So the structure is not clear. Let me draw in the next page. Listen, listen, just I will draw like this, Na plus, okay, then we have Cl minus adjacent to that, then again Na plus, then Cl minus, Na plus, Cl, it, the crystal goes like this, then Cl minus, Na plus, I am just drawing one layer of the lattice, crystal lattice, one layer, Na plus, Cl minus, again we have Na plus, Cl minus, Na plus, Cl minus. These lines are not bonds. I am just connecting them uh, to understand the crystal lattice. Okay, like that it goes. Actually, it goes. So let me draw one more layer, one more line, so that it will be comfortable. Okay, these lines are not bonds. These lines indicate uh, the lattice. Okay, and listen, this is actually continuing in all the directions. It is actually continuing. It is not a um, small layer like this, small uh, square, a rectangle like this. It is actually continuing. Okay, this is actually one layer. Like this, we have another layer over this, another layer over this, another layer over this, right? So, one layer by one layer, if you uh, join, you will get the entire crystal. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to add boron trichloride. See, it consists of B3 plus ion, boron 3 plus ion. So, I am going to replace sodium ions by boron 3 plus ions. Okay, now listen, assume that now the crystal is neutral, perfectly neutral. Neutral means total positive charge is equal to total negative charge. Now, I am going to add BCl3 as impurity here. I am just adding some impurity. What will happen? The boron 3 plus ion will replace sodium ion. How many sodium ion will be replaced? Since each boron carry 3 plus charge here, okay, this boron, this ion carry 3 plus charge and sodium ion carry 1 plus. So, if I put 1 boron 3 plus ion, you should remove 3 Na plus ion. Is this correct? I am adding boron 3 plus ion. When you add boron 3 plus ion, you should remove uh, 3 sodium ion because 1 boron carry here 1 B3 plus ion carry 3 plus charge. So, if I introduce 1 B3 plus ion, we should remove 3 Na plus ion equally. So, suppose I will remove 1 sodium ion here, another sodium ion here, another sodium ion here. So, remove the 3 sodium ion and in the place of, in one of these sodium ion place, okay, you just put 1 boron. Okay, so if I put this, you will get just the B3 plus ion occupy this place. This is not vacancy now, but the remaining two sodium ion places become vacancy. So, what is the idea? The idea is, if you introduce one boron 3 plus in the crystal, two vacancies get created. Is this clear? Are you able to follow? Therefore, therefore, for one B3 plus ion, 
there will be two vacancy two na plus ion vacancy two na plus ion vacancy is created vacancy is created are you able to follow if i introduce one br3 plus for one b3 plus ion in the crystal there will be two uh, sodium ion vacancies two vacancies okay for one right now if you take one mole for one b3 plus and this much so for one mole if you take one mole of b3 plus if one mole of b3 plus ion is introduced then there will be two moles of sodium ion vacancy is created right sodium ions vacancy vacancy is created is this correct are you able to follow i repeat so for one mole we have two moles of vacancy then for 10 power minus 3 mole percentage 10 power minus 3 mole percentage of b3 plus there will be 2 into 10 power minus 3 mole percentage of sodium ion vacancy in the crystal is this clear see 2 into 10 power minus 3 mole percentage of sodium ion vacancy vacancies what is the meaning what does it indicate it indicates that 2 into 10 power minus 3 moles moles vacancies moles of vacancies for 100 moles of sodium chloride for 100 moles of sodium chloride what is the meaning 2 into 10 power minus 3 mole percentage of sodium vacancy sodium ion vacancy meaning means means is that mole percentage no percentage means number of see we have this many vacancies this many moles of vacancy for 100 mole okay 2 into 10 power minus 3 by 100 moles 100 moles of vacancy sorry 2 into 10 power minus 3 moles of vacancies divided by for 100 moles of the uh, crystal if you want to convert percentage you must multiply this by 100 so 100 100 cancel you will get this 2 into 10 power minus 3 mole percentage means okay 2 uh, 2 into 10 power minus 3 moles of vacancy is divided by 100 moles of the crystal 100 moles of the crystal crystal is sodium chloride now okay so in 100 moles of sodium chloride crystal if 2 into 10 power minus 3 moles of vacancies exist it is nothing but 2 into 10 power minus 3 mole percentage so so therefore listen 100 moles of sodium chloride 100 moles of sodium chloride contain contain 2 into 10 power minus 3 moles of moles of vacancies sodium ion vacancies therefore one mole contain how much one mole of sodium chloride contains equal to this is 100 moles okay so one mole contains 2 into 10 power minus 3 by 100 i'll get the answer as 2 into 10 power minus 6 is this clear take down take down so here i have given one mole of sodium chloride one mole of sodium chloride contain 2 into 10 power minus 5 moles of vacancies but what they are asking in the question is that number of vacancies per mole of sodium chloride so for one mole of sodium chloride these many moles of vacancies are there you convert these moles into number how just multiply this by avogadro number i took avogadro number simply as 6 into 10 power 23 so just multiply will get 6 into 12 uh, 10 power 23 10 power minus 5 will get 10 power 8 so these many vacancies are there for one mole of sodium chloride if we introduce 2 into 10 power minus 3 mole percentage of boron trichloride in sodium chloride crystal therefore the correct option for this question is uh, yeah option 2 okay take so here i am giving you a similar question just for practice 10 power minus 2 mole percentage of strontium chloride is introduced introduced in sodium chloride find the number of cation vacancies per mole of sodium chloride so, so this question appeared in 2020 november pondicherry uh, 
special question paper for Pondicherry. A compound consists of atoms A and B. Atoms B form cubic close packing. Observe carefully the word cubic close packing. And atom A occupy A occupy half of the octahedral void. Half of the octahedral void and half of the tetrahedral void. So half of the octahedral void and half of the tetrahedral voids are occupied by A. Atom B forms the close packing. What is the molecular formula? Okay, yes. Listen. So here uh, B atoms form B atoms form CCP, a cubic close packed structure. Cubic close packed structure contains FCC unit cell. Note down. This is very important. Cubic close packed structure contains FCC unit cell. So B atoms form FCC unit cell. You know very well in FCC, all corners are occupied by B. All corners are occupied and all face centers are occupied. So FCC unit cell means all corners, all corners are occupied by B atom because B forms the FCC. And all face centers, all face centers are also occupied by B atoms. B forms the lattice, cubic close packed structure. Okay. So, how many B atoms are there per unit cell? It occupies all the corner, it occupies all the face center. So, number of B atom per unit cell is? Yes, sir. Number of B atoms? Four, sir. Very good. Number of B atoms per unit cell is equal to 4. It's FCC, like 4. Sir, I have been suspect. See, here it is given clearly. Atoms of B forms the cubic close packing lattice. What is the meaning? B atom forms cubic close pack. Cubic close pack lattice means it consists of FCC unit cell. So, the entire FCC unit cell Okay, or the FCC unit cell is formed by B atom. The FCC unit cell means all corners are occupied and all face centers are occupied by B atoms. So all the corners are occupied by B atom, all the face centers are occupied by B atom. So which means B atoms forms the FCC unit cell. Then number of B atom per unit cell is, since it forms FCC structure, number of B atom per unit cell is 4. Right? Now, so we have 4 B atoms. There are four atoms of B available in one unit cell. So for four B atom, there should be four octahedral void. I wrote shortly as OV, octahedral void. And twice the number, that is uh, four into two is eight. So there should be eight tetrahedral void. So the unit cell, FCC unit cell contains four octahedral void and eight tetrahedral voids. A atoms occupy the voids, but how? Half of the octahedral void is occupied by A atom and half of the tetrahedral void is occupied by atom, A atoms. So we have four octahedral void, half means two, so two octahedral void occupied by A. Then we have eight tetrahedral voids, half means four, so four tetrahedral voids are occupied by A atom. So totally four plus two, six. Six atoms of A occupies the voids. So A, at, A atoms occupy uh, the number of A atom in the unit cell is 6. So, what is the formula? A atom 6, B atoms 4. Simplify it, you will get A3B2. So, A3B2 is the molecular formula of the compound. Okay, take down. First, so this question appeared in 2019 December. The question is the Miller uh, index for the plane as shown in the figure and parallel to the C axis is. See, a and B axis are in the plane of the paper. So, let me draw here. This is the A axis. Suppose I will take this corner as origin. I will take this corner as origin. So, this should be the A axis and this should be the B axis. This is A and this is B as per this uh, given graph. Where is C? C axis is perpendicular to the paper and this plane is parallel to the C axis. It is given like this, right? The plane is parallel to C axis. So the plane is going like this and it is parallel to the C axis. You can easily understand this. Okay. So listen, um, this is one unit length. 
2 3 4 so intercept made by the plane in the a axis is 4 okay let me write the intercepts first so what are the intercepts in intercepts intercepts okay along a axis intercept is 4 uh, unit distance right 1 2 3 4 distances 4 unit distances not the point you should count the distance 1 is this 1 unit distance 2 3 4 unit distances and in b axis 1 2 unit distances intercepts it is parallel to c axis therefore intercept is infinity now what to do take the reciprocal take the reciprocal of the intercepts so 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 by infinity okay 1 by infinity is 0 so let me write uh, again 1 by 4 1 by 2 0 now you should remove the fractions how to remove the fractions just multiply throughout by 4 multiply throughout by 4 so if you multiply throughout by 4 4 by 4 cancel I'll get 1 if you multiply 4 here 4 by 2 you'll get 2 4 into 0 is 0 so the plane is actually 1 2 0 plane the correct option is 2 take note so uh, this question appeared in 2019 June the question is the correct relationship among the following for a tetragonal crystal system okay tetragonal crystal system you know a equal to b but not equal to c alpha beta gamma are all equal to 90 degree we need to find out what is the relationship between sin square theta and the uh, h square plus k square plus l square okay yes we'll do that see uh, this problem is also very simple let me do it here <coughs> see you know very well the Bragg equation what is Bragg's equation n lambda equal to 2d sin theta and we we usually take a, a first order a reflection so l put n equal to 1 so lambda is equal to 2d sin theta or sin theta equal to lambda by 2d sin square theta equal to lambda square by 4 into d square okay you take this as equation number one we know this okay then what is the formula for interplanar distance listen if it is a cubic crystal cubic crystal mean a equal to b equal to c uh, sorry if it is orthorhombic crystal orthorhombic means a not equal to b not equal to c alpha beta gamma are equal to 90 degree okay this is for orthorhombic okay Arthrombic. For orthorhombic crystals, this is the formula 1 by d square in square of the uh, interplanar distance for particular HKL plane is equal to h square by a square plus k square by b square plus l square HKL, right? The l square by c square. This is the formula. Here a, b, c are not equal. This is orthorhombic. Orthorhombic. Now, in the case of tetragonal, a and b are equal correct so a square b square in the place of b square you can put a square itself so i can write for a tetragonal system listen for for tetragonal system system the equation becomes 1 by d square equal to now uh, a and b are equal so i'll remove this b square and i'll place or I'll replace b square by a square itself so what we get is h square plus k square by a square plus l square by c square this is 1 by d square formula substitute this formula here in equation i'll take this as equation 2 i'm going to introduce equation 2 in equation 1 okay take down take down substitute uh, this 1 by d square that is equation 2 in equation 1 so what we'll get is listen uh, in equation, I'm, I'm just introducing equation 2 in equation 1. So, equation 1 left hand side we have sin square theta, and right hand side we have lambda square by 
lambda square by 4 into d square is there that I can write as 1 by d square this is equation 1 now in the place of 1 by d square I will put this value instead of 1 by d square for tetragonal system this is the value so I replace 1 by d square by this so what we get is lambda square by 4 into h square plus k square by a square plus l square by c square okay we get an expression like this okay take down take down but in the options you just see the options in the option it is given lambda square by 4 a square they have taken a square as common a square common okay c square common a square common suppose i'll take a square common if i take a square common what will i get lambda square by 4 into a square if i take a square as common then this becomes simply h square plus k square and what will happen here is that see um, uh, to maintain this equation as such so i'll multiply this by a square l square l square by c square now if i multiply this 1 by a square inside i'll get this if i multiply 1 by a square here a square a square cancel i'll get this okay is this clear just check it i'll just uh, uh, explain that see what i did you take lcm here lcm means just cross multiply this and this and multiply these two so if you cross multiply here i'll get c square into h square plus k square and if you multiply this here i'll get a square plus c square divided by a square into l square divided by you multiply these two a square into c square so we, we took lcm now just keep a square c square outside the bracket you just take it out so you'll get lambda square by 4 into a square c square into this quantity c square into h square plus k square plus a square into l square okay and if you compare this op this uh, result with the options yes it exactly matches with option 2 app option 2 in the question so the correct option for this question is 2 okay take note this question appeared in 2018 december in a cubic crystal the 111 plane and 222 two, two, reflections 111 one plane and 222 two plane reflections are observed they appear in the spectra in the xrd pattern but not the 001 reflection then the bravais lattices four options were given but I, I just removed them I just removed them just for purpose you try to identify what should be the uh, crystal system it is given cubic so it should be either a simple cubic or bcc or fcc okay you need to identify you know very well uh, for simple cubic okay for simple cubic all reflections from all planes are allowed all reflections from all planes are allowed so one one plane will give reflection that is observed two two plane also will give reflection that is observed zero zero one plane also give reflection that is also observed for simple cubic for simple cubic all h k l values are allowed values are allowed no problem at all so since 0, 0, 001 reflection is not observed then that crystal cannot be simple cubic it is not simple cubic next bcc what is bcc for bcc h plus k plus l should be even number should be even number so 1 plus 1 plus 1 i am getting 3 if it is a suppose if you if uh, the crystal uh, if, if it is bcc then one one plane should reflection one one plane reflection should not be observed should not appear in the xrd pattern but it is given one 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 also the reflection also observed that means the crystal is not bcc also it is not a simple cubic it is not bcc then what about fcc for fcc you know very well HKL values okay should be all odd or all even are allowed okay yes see the plane first plane 111 plane HKL all values are 111 all 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 values are odd it is allowed what about 222 yes in 222 all values are even yes that is also allowed what about 001 
zero is even, even, but one is odd. Even, even, this is odd. So this reflection, right, does not appear in the spectrum. So the Bravais lattice, okay, is supposed to be FCC. Okay, take note. See, in 2024, this question was asked. Okay, in in, uh, in powder XRD, in powder XRD, um, the first reflection appears for the plane 111. Okay, and the question asked is, what is the uh, corresponding Bravais lattice? And it is given clearly this cubic system. Okay. I don't have the question paper, I'm just giving you the question. Now, since it is since the first reflection is 111, it is very easy to say that it is FCC. FCC. Remember, remember if it is simple.